ClipChamp tutorial for beginners. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you all you need to know about ClipChamp.com and how it is the best video editing software available. So let's get started. First off, you're just going to go on ClipChamp.com and you're going to click on try for free. Now you are going to create your account so you can create it using your email or link it to your Google, Facebook, Dropbox, or Microsoft account. I am just going to link it to my Google account. And now ClipChamp is going to ask you what kind of videos you are trying to create using their platform. So let's just see, we're, we're going to create some personal videos. So for just personal use and fun. And this is the ClipChamp dashboard. So you can see it's pretty neat. You can see at the top, you have your create your video feature. You have your notification, then you have your account. On the left, you have your home button, your videos, your brand kit, and your template library. So first off, we're going to take a look at the template library and see what kind of templates are available on ClipChamp. You can see they are categorized based on like YouTube, education, gaming, sales ads, social media ads, celebrations, Instagram, sales outreach, marketing, Facebook ads, and beautiful content takeaway restaurants so anything that you might imagine there's probably a template for it let's maybe say i want to create food content and now i'm really sorry guys i don't know why this is taking so long to load on my screen but let's wait a couple of seconds and now here you go there are so many different kinds of food related videos that are available in template form and you can just get started on the editing let's just take the restaurant ad video template and use this now our template has been loaded and this is the basic workspace of clipchamp so here you have your video that is being edited below that you have your editing options of cutting deleting trimming after that you have your toolbars basically or the elements of your video are present over here at the bottom you can see the text this is the text block below that you have your video block and below that you have your audio block on the left you will see your media so the media you have added there is also the option of just viewing the videos you have added in your uh, master video or viewing just the audios you have added you can also view the images below that you have your record and create function so you can make a camera recording a screen and camera recording which is very good if you're making gaming kind of content or anything related to gaming or streaming you also have your just screen recording or your text to speech after that you have more templates so if you want to add something more you can add it from here after that you have your music and sfx so Free to use music is available on ClipChamp, which is pretty good. So you can easily use royalty free music on ClipChamp. And if you just want to sample the music, just take your mouse, put it over the music beat and it will actually start playing the music for you. So you can get an idea of what kind of music is available or whether it might or may not suit your video. Below that, you have your stock video option. So you get a lot of free to use options, which is a very great Thing if you're creating content and you have to you know find royalty free videos on another side you have to find royalty free music on another side and then you're gonna go on your video editor and combine it so that's just three sites and clipchamp will enable you to shorten that process by using only their own site and their own application and you can get your music and free to use videos just from here Below that, you also have your stock images. So there are free stock images. And obviously, there are paid ones that you can opt for if you're paying for this application. Below that, you also have your text. So whatever kind of text you might want to add. And there are a lot of different types. So you can have groovy text, circular, typewriter, title, glowy text, fireworks. So it has a lot of customization and a lot of different aesthetics available. So it doesn't really matter what kind of content you're looking to create. As long as it's it's from this world, you'll find something that suits your content. So if you wanted to keep it professional, you can keep the fade kind of look on your text. You can have it more mirrored you can have it a bit more funky and below that if you move down you also have graphics so you can select your general color scheme from here 
your overlays, your GIFs, and your stickers. After that, you have your filters and transitions. So this is also a pretty good option and they have a lot of different transitions. It's very important that your transitions are good and smooth and really drive your point across. So they have a bunch of different kinds of transitions for you to pick from. Also, you have your brand kit and which is basically, you know, to keep all of your videos consistent. So if you're creating a video for a specific maybe company and you're creating ads for them for their Instagram platform, you might want to keep the color scheme in the same line. You might want to keep the text in the same font. The general look of the video should be similar. So you can just add fonts, add colors, and add logos over here and just apply this brand kit onto your video and that will keep it consistent with all of your other videos and that will help you keep a cohesive look of all of your advertisements that you do for a specific person or company. Now to show you guys, I will change up this video a little bit. So let's just add Let's just make this a bit longer and let's just add some stock video. Let's take a look at the free to use. Let's search for something food. And you can see once you actually search for stuff, they will recommend you the premium videos first instead of the stock videos that are for free. So you might want to just take a look at the free ones first. Now let's just take this video. To select a video, you're just going to click on it and then you're going to drag it and you can either drag it into the same row as a previous video or you can take it down and create a new row for this video. That will just make your editing a bit easier if you keep stuff separated, but if you want, you can put it in the same row. I'm just going to put it down here and I am going to first off click on it and I'm going to drag it to the start. Now, what I'm going to do is change the text that is present on the start of the video. I'm going to move it first and then I'm going to delete it. And now I'm going to click on text on the left and I'm going to add a new text. So I'm just going to scroll down, take a look at the different kind of text that are available. I'm going to select this double lined text. I'm going to drag it. I'm going to drop it in the top row. Now I'm going to shorten this text. I want it to hog over the screen. Next, I'm going to align it. And now I'm going to move my viewer back so I can see what it will actually look like. Now, once I click on my text line that I just added, at the top, you will see text, transform, and color. So I'm going to change the text, obviously. I'm just going to add farm to table. Then I'm going to change the font this. It looks nice. It's present at the center. Now I'm going to center the text. I'm going to change the color, make it black, make that black. And now you can see this is how the text is going to appear. Maybe I want to center it perfectly over here. So now it's going to be centered. I'm sorry about the delay on my screen. My screen is lagging behind my actions. I don't know why that is. But that is how you add text and add different videos to your video. And you can see I'm just going to shorten this out. So I'm going to crop it or trim it, whatever you might want to call it. So that is how you can create your online free video using Clipchamp. I'm really sorry about why I couldn't show you guys the final product because Clipchamp is being quite unresponsive for some reason, but that is how easy it is to get started on Clipchamp as your video editing software. And it's usually very unlikely that Clipchamp actually crashes. I don't know why it's doing it today, but just to wrap it up, um, I think Clipchamp is one of the best video editing softwares and I definitely would recommend it to anyone. However, there are some uh, drawbacks and there are a lot of things that you have to take into consideration. If you are willing to actually buy Clipchamp, that is going to be really good for you if you are actually doing editing professionally or you have a lot of stuff to edit. So let's just take a look at the plans provided by Clipchamp for their video editing software. 
ClipChamp has three plans that are available. First off is the free plan where you get unlimited video exports and you can only export 480p videos. So if you're looking to create HD or 4K videos, you can't really do that. Second up, you will have your creator plan and that is $9 a month. You will get unlimited video exports. You get 720p, so that is pretty good quality. And you also have cloud media backup and unlimited audio stock. So you can have any of the audio stock that are available on Clipchamp for free or basically $9 a month if you subscribe to their creator plan. And then you have their business plan, which gives you unlimited video exports. You can have HD quality exports. You also have cloud media backup, unlimited audio stock, and custom branding. So you can use it to create videos that are cohesive and all of them have a similar aesthetic and feel. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and are now able to use Clipchamp as your video editor. And I will catch you guys in the next video.